First on Action News, we are talking to the men in the videos captured on YouTube. The protesters who stormed several Catholic churches in town telling parishioners to repent now or else. It's a story we first brought you after churchgoers reached out saying they feared for their lives. Action News anchor Jackie Heinrich joins us now live in studio with the reaction from the other side. Jackie. Trisha, this group of self-proclaimed ministers actually prefers not to be referred to as a group at all, just brothers in Christ. They say while they didn't intend to make anyone fear for their lives, anyone living without, quote, the true Jesus should be afraid. On Action News. Repent. Turn to Jesus Christ. Must be born again. Pope is a Satan. Pope is a Satan. Mary's statue is a Satan. It shows a group of men going into Catholic churches during Mass, telling parishioners they need to repent and turn to Jesus or their religion will not save them. Several churchgoers called police after they feared for their lives in light of recent terror attacks and felt threatened. But we talked to one man who coordinates many of these operations, Street Minister Ron Cardiel. If they're going to be afraid, I mean, I'd be afraid of uh, dying without Jesus Christ, it dying in their sins. He says the group never intended to scare anyone, and they always leave when asked. He also said the group enters the churches before Mass begins so as not to interrupt services, but also says this. Stop worshiping to the idols. Idols not going to save you. Is material he feels compelled to share. Someone came in telling them essentially to fear for their lives and that they felt threatened. And they are uh, in, in, in jeopardy, okay? They need to be right with God uh, and come to the biblical Christ. And so uh, we, the language used there is correct. I mean, I don't know, the Pope is a Satan. I mean, he's, he's got, maybe he's got an accent and language barrier, but the Pope is a false prophet. As far as people feeling Pope threatened in light of recent terror no, attacks. That's understandable concerning, considering what's been going on, but the difference between us and that we worship the one true God, and God is uh, a gracious and merciful God, slow to anger and of great kindness. Cardiel did not clearly state whether he and his fellow ministers would continue entering churches to spread their message despite the reaction from many people within the Catholic community. Reporting live tonight in studio, I'm Jackie Heinrich, Channel 13 Action News. Jackie, thank you.